Walking through the central business districts of Accra on a Sunday is such an eyesore as the only thing one can feast their eyes on is the filth or the heaps of rubbish that has scattered along the whole stretch. Some pedestrians we talk to blame those on the traders who transact their business here on Saturdays and also the city authorities who neglect their sanitary duties on Sundays. <laughs> Saturday, uh, and you and I am over. the The field is created by traders who do business on Saturdays. I work here at the Cuckoo Board premises, and we try our possible best to turn these traders away, but it ends in futility. To me, Sunday. It's terrible to see this happening in the capital city of Ghana. The president's desire to make Accra the neater city cannot be realized like this. The authorities must wake up. If you West Africa, the traders, on the other hand, also push the blame on the authorities, especially the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, for refusing to honor the obligations after taking money from them to do so. The West management trucks that ply this route are inadequate, so even when we clean after work, there's no place to dump the rubbish. Mr. Vanderpoint, me for Sina Manito, 12 containers. Say I'm from a CBD area, a crowd district way. Now I'm going to Kabashimene and Krenibakan Brofu, I'm from a we tried talking to the former mayor to address this. It didn't happen. We paid the authorities of the AMA to check this, but they can't be bothered. Why? Are we mad or something? I'm fighting for this crusade for over years. I just saw what? No, I The mayor, what is he doing? Nanado been saying, sir, in the time, by the time of my office, as the president of this country, now Accra will be the cleanest city in Africa. Is that what we are seeing today? Nenado is not up to his weight. The blame game seems to never end. And until the city authorities live up to the expectations of city dwellers, the stench and filth that engulfs the central business district of Accra will remain a cringeworthy attraction for all of us. For Joy News, Sarah Josu.